Well, the time has finally come. Bio Mutant is finally here. Believe it or not, if you're anything like me, you've probably been following this game for a couple of years now, catching up on the videos, the trailers, going like, that looks really, really awesome. But what the hell exactly is Bio Mutant? That was me. All I know is that those videos kind of hyped me up quite a bit, and I was like, I definitely want to play this, but is it ever going to come out? Well, it's finally out, and I finally know what Bio Mutant is. It's an open world post-apocalyptic game, which I'm already kind of a sucker for, but you add into the entire thing monster evolutions, gene splicing, etc., etc., and you essentially have Bio Mutant in a nutshell. Oh, and a lot of kung fu action as well. Yeah, let's check it out. Okay, and the first thing we have to do is choose a breed for our sword and gun wielding kung fu master furry from the post apocalypse. And this will kind of give us an idea, or at least like stat, um, focus. So, for instance, the primal is kind of overall, I would say, but then we could have a dum dum, we have a bit more vitality and strength. But it also kind of gives you an idea of what your creature's gonna look like. Personally, though, it's not really an end all thing, as we shall be able to mess with these stats pretty soon as well. I'm gonna go with the Hyla, though. I like the Hyla. Define your genetic structure. So. I'm gonna give you a couple of examples how we could switch this up. So from like, you know, very angry, devious dude over here to charismatic, apparently. Make him very intellectual this way. <laughs> Go to Vitality Route, make him a little thick boy. Very, very thick boy. Look at this guy. He's been having some good eating right here. He's very upset too. I like to go strength and agility though, so let's do something along the lines of up here. Oh, uh, that kind of works. Sure. I'm not sure why he looks so worried though. Like, uh, it kind of looks like that face you have on you when, like, when you go out and you're not really sure if you locked the front door or not and you live in a bad neighborhood. Choose a genetic resilience. And resistance, obviously, fairly self explanatory here. Uh, we could leave it somewhere in the middle to have a couple of resistance to everything, but let's live in the wild side. Let's go resilient to heat and biohazard. Get wrecked by radioactivity and cold, apparently. Choose your first style. And this will kind of give us the layout of our skin, fur, etc, etc. I am gonna go, let's see, oh, that's actually not too bad. But we could also choose the colors up on this too. So that's red. How about though a nice little blue, I would say. Pick a class. Class. Well, let me show you what Come we got on. here. I already know what I'm gonna go with just because it kind of suits Cypher. my play style better. Saboteur. Saboteur. Sentinel. And a Sentinel over here Saboteur. as well. Saboteur. I'm gonna go with this one though just because it's more of a glass clan in Gas Clannon? It's the Gas Clannon. It's more of the Glass Cannon build, more agility, strength base, but he's also rocking Chucks, and he's got Raphael's size, so, you know, what's not to like? Saboteur chose. Sounds good. I like it. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice, or simply stop living. Well, we don't want that happening. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm dark red as in strength and power. Color me light blue for freedom and loyalty. I mean, we are quite literally blue, but I like the idea of strength and power. So I guess maybe this has, I don't know what type of impact it'll have going on the game in the future, but maybe we have good and bad routes as well. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of the balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Well, I'm not sure the dark is for me, after all. I'm one with darkness. Let's go, let's go with that one, sounds so edgy. Can't believe you'd choose that thing over me. I'll be here waiting for you when you have a change of heart. I don't think you understood when I said I am one with darkness. That thing? I'm right here. Let me remind you, we're two halves of the same. With the difference being I'm the better half. Better half? My way is both better and brighter. Light makes it easier to see the best end. The best end is the one you decide yourself. And it seems we're headed in the right direction. I wonder how legit that is, like if they're just kind of being like very tongue-in-cheek about it or depending on the choices you make here, you have a different ending. I mean, I guess that would make sense if you were going down the bad guy route, you would have a different ending to good guy route, huh, Falcon? I guess so. I mean, then let me ask you this, what happens instead of going left, I go right? Hmm, imagine right that. Right is always right. Should I do it? 
I chose the dark aura, but I'm gonna go right. Oh man, I don't follow your rules. I make my own, my friend. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. I feel like that's a trap. Somebody just left the body here, so somebody rolls around and suddenly you get ambushed, you know what I'm saying? Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Not or did quite. you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Now is this predator figurative, metaphorical, literal? Not really sure. But we have the Lupa Lupin. Oh, jeez! Oh, I don't think that's the one who destroyed our family. <laughs> it seems almost too convenient, right? Alright, let's pop you here with a couple of shots to the old dome piece. Oh, you don't like that? Let's do you! Ooh, last second dodge. Monkey wheel has been completed. Cool. Phoenix flight. Oh, I see. It lets me slow down time. The old bullet time, huh? That'll be our melee. And for sweep. Ooh. Oh, look at these dodges. Don't oh, get out of the way. Parry, let's try it. I'm normally not the best when it comes to parries, but here we got it. There's only one game that really taught me to parry, and that was Dark Souls, obviously. Felt very imperative for certain fights, but other than that, most of the games I'd never bother with. I just dodge around and shoot and attack. Uh, Viper Bite's gonna be B and X, huh? I see. Little spin attack. I don't think I can kill you, can I? Feels like I'm just beating you up just so I can learn to combat. Rabbit's Fury. Go for it. Yeah, another one. Ooh. Maybe now we could actually bring you down for good. Got no weapon anymore, my friend. You better make a run for it. This oh. is not the time nor place no to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Bunker 101. Right. <laughs> Should probably go before that blows up, huh? Yeah, and this is like the surprising part to me about this game. Like, bunkers and everything. That's not what I expected. I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not sure what I expected with this game, but... It sure wasn't bunker diving. And... Well, I mean, I don't even know what that is right there. The Predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the Tree of Life started to die. So Kanergy does a lot. Special attacks and dodging, huh? So no stamina. So instead of stamina, it's kind of like T. Gotcha. Well, that's really the case. How about we start doing a couple of blap laps here? And let's also learn about these, uh, oh, wow. parries more often. So I think the, the key telltale sign here is when you see the electrical signs like that. There it is. And then you could combo them up into the skies that way. That was a terrible part of that parry there. Matter of fact, parry less, one would say. Got him right there. Oh, he died before we could send him out to the sky. So the combat almost feels a bit like, uh, Bam Ham. Right? The old Arkham Asylum series. Very fluid. Very responsive. One enemy to another. Fancy combos. Medic Supply. Oh, really? Medic supplies are to regenerate your health. Never knew that. First time playing a video game. Anything in the restroom? Oh, look at this. We have a, a duker. No, don't like that. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Out of the bunker, I come out. Who's out here? The Sludge so sludges Hello, my friends. I come in peace. Most, oh, it doesn't look like you guys come in peace, death. though. But some have adapted uh, to this the is why I never. Oh, okay. This is why we'll never find true peace. The moment you show up saying, hey, I come in here in peace, people show up with apparently guns locked your way. Okay, one of them's already dead, I think. Oh, 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 Sludge Soaker, please. I was having a one on one combat with a person of my size. There's no reason for you getting involved, you scumbag. Oh, we could light your ass up with that gun, though, huh? Oh, he's angry now. Oh, he's a very angry boy. Okay, here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to get you guys away from the big guy. So, uh, you know, we have a, a fair, honorable duel. My friend, you have a saccad. I feel like you have a little bit of honor to your name. So, us engaging this fight one-on-one -on -one would be in our best benefit. Alright, well. You're dead now. 
Ooh, ooh, look at these sweet dodges. All right, you need, you need to stop. Same with you. Look, angry friend. <laughs> I'm good with the parry so far. I'm liking it. I'm normally not good with parries in games like that, you know, have combat like this. I'm terrible at them. My timing's always up, but this one so far, not too bad. What do we got here? Dandy candy. I will take that dandy candy. Something tells me we probably shouldn't stand in the sludge there, huh? Although this guy came out of it just fine. But not us. Alright, let's see what's behind door number one. Defeat the rock boom. Hello, my friends. Who is this? Oh, that's the rock boom. They're coming out of the ground. Another one of those. Oh, rock boom, you blew up your own friend. You gonna stand for that? Go attack the rock boom, dog. Okay. Give me a second here. I need to keep eyes on this rock boom. Ah, oh, he blew me up. I mean, he didn't even land it on me. He landed on his friend, and the explosion got me. This guy has doesn't care about his friend's well-being, apparently. I did stun him, though. What's behind door number two? More baddies? No baddies. Let's take a look at our surroundings, stuff. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that... No. I mean, it's not any writing that I'm familiar with. Iron Wall. Defeat the Iron Wall. He's a shielder. Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break the shield with melee attacks before you can deal damage to the enemy. Come out here, you coward. Oh, you're like the Rock of Boom, except you have a... Apparently, you're using the, the door of a vehicle as a shield, huh? Okay. Well, my friend... Flash the slash. It seems at first I must uh, attack with melee. There goes your shield. You also have flown up into the skies. Give you a little bit of uh, Silk the Shocker action. And get that parry as always. Good God, I'm just on fire with the parries. He does seem to be shocked momentarily. Man, just shock them and they don't go anywhere afterwards, huh? Any good, Sonny? Oh, we got some pills here. Grabbing pills. Increasing attributes, yes. Well then, um, you know how it is. More strength at all times, baby. There are two pillars of Wung Fu, the core martial arts you start with and the weapon mastery techniques that you unlock that upgrade points gained from leveling up. Close combat range, I mean, I'm digging that close combat. Okay. I guess we'll do the unstoppable pig. Yep, there it is. Perfect. Okay. It is using up our key power. Luckily, we have a fairly good restoration rate for it, so that's fine. Pick no, up the claw. Emergency box from the once was a rare sight. The claw. It's not a crowbar. It's a claw. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Oh, claw. Oh, right. My bad. I thought you were gonna do Whoa. it automatic, my friend. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, really. Why, why did he look dead? He landed in a completely dead state. Thought he had broken his back, and that was it. End of the game. Furry little creature broke his back. That's it. The morks produce biomatter in their multi organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and combo one of them to death if you don't mind. Narrator. You talk a big game about about these guys, but I'm not sure. It seems that two of them are already down, and now it gives me the chance for me to play with you. Oh, he's actually still alive. Not for long. I wanted to actually do my new special attack on you. Oh, there it is! Oh, the unstoppable piggy. Another unstoppable piggy. Follow the third one. Get out of here. Bio blobs. You absorb the bio blob. Those are points used to unlock mutations. You collect bio blobs by defeating morks and finding containers at various places in the world. You can use your bio blobs to unlock special powers at any time by exiting mutation parts of the menu. So, should I do that now? Is what you tell me? Um, Biogenics. Here we go. So we have Mod Mount. Use Mod Mount, press the input. You have bound to ability while facing an enemy. This will infect any small human or enemy hit. While infected enemies will attack their allies instead of you. Yo, I like that. And we bring this up in Mod Mount. Perfect. 
Well, give us um, a couple of targets here to test this out on because I want to see it play out in a real world scenario. Toxin all built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks travelled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Start the ray lighter. Apparently my intellect check only gives me ten, so we get ten attempts at this. Bad idea. Uh, okay, so I'm over here. Am I supposed to just line them up or what? Oops. Uh, switch down, and then we want to do... Just a few moves left. <laughs> One left. <laughs> just barely got there. I didn't understand what I was doing, but I got the gist of it finally. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's Godzilla 101. You know, it's what happens when you put radiation to water. What do you think's gonna happen? Hello, my friend. You don't happen to have, like, a minigun under your, uh... Well, I don't know, somewhere in your waist or something? It's like that Bloodborne enemy. Out of date. Perfectly countering an enemy attack will stun them. Yeah, I've been doing that quite a bit already. The wheeled one is out now. Oh, he, he does! I better help him out. Help him out? He seems to be doing fine in his cell. Oh, I see those guys. Hello, my friends! Oh, yeah, right, 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 hold up, Falcon, you skill. Go and attack your friends. All of you attack yourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let, let, let it go. Let it go. Let them do it. <laughs> oh, it's Kavik. I like it. Can I do this more? There, there it is. A couple more have been grabbed. NPC seems to be doing fine. Just roll around, good old timer. You let them take care of each other. All we do. If you really want to die at my hands, I could definitely arrange that. I was hoping to just let you and your friends have a little battle royale out there and just like the strongest survive, but it is what it is, huh? So how effective was that? I mean, it feels like I could do everything faster than they are, so whatever. Let's just take care of it ourselves next time. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. I mean, I'm gonna loot first, if you don't mind, because that's what I do. Tongue tickly! What else? Is that it? Bodies. The old dainty. More dainty. And weapons. Small things for your big ideas. I imagine at some point we're gonna probably be able to craft, huh? Because we keep picking up a bunch of components, so... We definitely got some crafting at some point. A new friend, an old friend. Mpa, wherefore, where we? Boop, boop, boop. I, I don't understand. He wants sir. to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. Yevofo, lolan. 
and awful. Mumumbo so? He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. How Lupa Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? And Lupa Lupin's the guy that we fought at the start. Huh. Well, I was going on about a metaphorical, literal figure. I guess it was literal. Yeah. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back. But he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. The impending threat of the World Eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Way back in the long ago, we were just a little cute guy. Look at this dude. <laughs> Alright. So this is a, a much nicer time, when apparently our face was scarred up just yet by, by the Lupa Lupin. We can still do our fast jog. Oh good, we have um, Elvis too. Best before, out of date. Asks if you were tired, oh, 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 oh. as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. I hope I told Mooma. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. <laughs> he understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. <laughs> The Potato People, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. <laughs> The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Okay. I can ruffle some grass and some feathers while I'm at it. I can ruffle a couple of jimmies too. Well, unfortunately, we're way over time here with this one, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. This has been Biomutant. Guess what? It actually does exist after all. The game should be live to you guys tomorrow, the 25th. I know my embargo's on the 24, which is the day before, so tomorrow's gonna be available to you guys as well. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.